Hey, what's going on with you guys, man? So today I'm about to drop this uh, reaction to the official gameplay first look of Madden 23. We've seen a few clips. It was mainly from, what is it called? The new things like Failed Sense and everything like that. And I think it was maybe like a three or four minute video. But they didn't really give us much surrounding this this new Madden 23. We got that Failed Sense video, which was pretty short. And, uh, and then we got, uh, I think we got, yeah, we got the franchise breakdown. But besides that, we didn't really get much. We got the ratings, of course. They probably didn't have to do a video. But it would be nice if the guys at Madden actually put out more content. Um, I'm a guy that plays a lot of MLB The Show. And the developers, before the game comes out, they're doing, they're, 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 they're on Twitch. Make sure we get a lot of content, getting a lot of good news. They, pro they might even just do it all in one video where these guys sit down for an hour and just break down so many different things, new things about the game, goes into detail. But uh, Madden, I don't know, man. They don't, they don't really put that much effort. It seems like into having the developers really sit down and talk about certain things. But um, we're gonna get into this video nonetheless, man. I'm, a, I'm gonna be honest. I saw like the first three minutes, so uh, not all of it's gonna be a authentic reaction. Um, but um, uh, nonetheless, let's get into it. Welcome in to the Madden 23 first look. I'm Nick Mazesco, and today. We're gonna get a chance to see some live Madden 23 gameplay for the first time. Our players for today, if you've ever seen Madden YouTube, you know this guy. He's got 1.4 million subscribers over on YouTube. It is none other than TD Barrett. On the opposite side, if you watch the MCS, you know this guy. He is a former number one Madden player in the world. It is none other than Clef the God. And we wouldn't be able to play this game without somebody from the EA side to help us explain some of those new settings. And joining us is Madden gameplay designer, K Spade. Gentlemen, so happy to have you guys along with us. But I kind of want to hear what they're saying a little bit. See, so this first pass. Ooh, that's picked off. He's in the lane. Okay, turn around. I like, I like I mean, I mean, how they made him turn It wasn't super glitchy where he just turned around and ran full speed. Use that free form. Try to lead it a little to the right. Let's see what I can do here. Right there. Nice. Like That's beautiful. How do you feel, oh, TD? How do you feel like that I'm that freeform right, passing? Uh, did did it, you feel like it helped you in the red zone? Because last year scoring in the red zone was so tough. Oh, was, essentially, you're just looking for open field. Like right there, I pushed that probably to, like I said about a yard to the max yeah. into like um, the open zone. Because I feel like in the NFL, I like those have one little complaint, right? So, um, they said the zones were going to get better this year, right? Now I don't, I really don't know what um. I don't know what defense was picked or anything like that. I don't know uh, if any adjustments was made because both of these guys are guys that play in the Madden circuit and they do a bunch of adjustments and everything like that, right? But the way this guy is streaking uh, 82 going wide open when they said the zones would get better, uh, it's a little fishy, but we'll see. Maybe Poirier was supposed to be there. Let me rewind the play. We can go back. Oh, no, I don't think Poirier's supposed to be there. That, that but, uh, freeform passing, did, again, did it, you feel like it helped you in the red zone? Because last year scoring... Because you got, you, got you got this left cornerback on 81. You got this guy in the slot, which is uh, which is a, which is the nickel corner. This probably could be a cover three where he's playing back. Well, this guy's... The guy in the uh, slot guard in front of Keenan Allen is playing the purple uh, curl, curl flats. This guy uh, on the left is just playing straight back. He's playing his deep zone. And then his safety is playing a deep zone as well. So maybe, I don't know, maybe maybe this was just uh, just a, the perfect route combination to beat this uh, uh, beat this defense. I mean, the red zone was so tough. Oh, essentially, you're just looking for open feel like right there. I pushed that probably oh, two things. Oh, I see about what happened. They tried to, to the disguise. Max they had the, the, into, the, the, like, the, the open zone. Because I feel like in the, the NFL, like, those quarterbacks, right it's so crowded the, in the red zone that you need, like, a little bit more control, side, which I, that, the, that's a... Um, Kind of what makes that such a cool feature? So much stuff happened on this play. First of all, yeah, he like, let him I inside. Like this, if... I, I like how they said the pass rush is going to be better. Now this is that is Joey Joey Bosa, who's an X Factor uh, pass rusher on this uh, on this uh, who I got the arrow over right now. But I like how he's getting around in a fa in a manly t in a timely manner. Excuse me. Um. But yeah, I like I like the, I like the pass rush animation so far. It looks alright. If you don't, it's probably uh, if uh I think at this best is a, it's a knockout. Right here, he's using Maybe even an INT. Passing. But after leading him inside, that allowed him to make mm. the catch. Uh, he was at low speed, so that sent him into the stand up tackle, which 
uh, the offensive player was able to win. You see the ring go green, and he's. Mm, I, I I like what I like what he said right here, right? This K Spade dude. Uh, he said since the reception was caught at low speed, it allowed for it to be a stand up. It, you know, kind of allowed for it to be a a higher chance of you actually breaking the tackle because he didn't catch it. You know, he wasn't running like a crossing route, and then the guy's coming dropping down on it. He runs him over, and he stands him up like that. This was in the sense where get, uh, like another six or seven yards. Like, but just see one on one, me having like better odds to break it because I got the bigger, the stronger field, player. So I think it's cool. I think it make it hit, a lot more football, like more relatable to what you see on Sundays, Mondays, and Thursdays. It's almost like two K five where you gotta spam the button. And I guess it's a laser. Said, uh, you either break the tackle or you secure it. I feel yeah, like I, with cover three, I got way more room to place mm -hmm. passes on like a street. Like anything else the theme. It's like I got more freedom to put it away from the safety or put it away from the corner. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what uh, skill based passing gives you the ability to do. Uh, you know, we pass led in Madden for years, but. It would be times you would throw a pass and say, well, I felt like I put that, or I tried to lead him, but really it was no way for you to know exactly where you were placing the ball. So placement feels a lot like pass lead in previous years, but now you have visual feedback. You can see your reticle on the field and place the ball where you want to. And we have placement plus accuracy. Now, placement plus accuracy also, you still have the target area around the receiver. You can place the ball wherever you want with visual feedback. But with the accuracy set and also enabled, you have a small mark on your passing meter that provides a perfectly accurate bullet pass if you hit mm. that while you're passing. With all these, the skill-based so, passing. So, so, so technically, you can you can get messed up a little bit right there, right? With the skill base, with the uh, uh, with the uh placement plus the accuracy, because if you probably if even though you're you're putting the ball in a certain spot. If you put it with the accuracy, I guess that would be more so for competitive leagues or maybe if they do it online and mutt in these competitive mutt um, tournaments or whatnot. But that makes it so that you can't just put it, you know, you can't just have any quarterback and, and just put it perfectly everywhere and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure the accuracy and the, the, the meter would depend on the quarterback's accuracy for how far he's throwing the ball, if it's short, medium, deep accuracy. And I guess if you was to miss it, you can actually end up leading the ball further than you wanted to. It can actually get picked off. So this is really, uh, this is really gonna see. Uh, this is really gonna widen the skill gap. So uh, a lot of casual players, uh, you're gonna have to, might have a tough time uh, actually scoring some points on offense, especially if the defense got better. With these 360 cuts, it seems like the theme this year offensively is just putting so much more control into the user's hands. Yeah, absolutely, Nick. Uh, that's the thing, like agency. We want to give players the control to play the game that they want to play, to play it how they want to play it, and to reduce moments where you feel like, ah, that's not what I wanted, or I didn't try to do that, or I didn't want to do that. We want to reduce those moments. The freeform stuff, like, I find it's really like you're literally looking at leverages and, like, all that stuff a lot more like you kind of have to here i, I almost want to try i don't know i can't okay. how many routes you got out there mm, that's a lobbed it over oh, the beautiful. top yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 thank you thank you. thank you spade beautiful that was dope with this well, zone coverage i see in these coach adjustments when yeah, this that, zone that's coverage what is the difference in that yeah uh that's a great great question we decided to move match and make it a coach you know adjustment so users will have to explicitly say I, I want my guys to play match now obviously once you turn that on if you call a regular cover three they're still going to play it like a regular cover three but we've got plays in the playbook that says cover three match or you know it's, it's different uh cover four is whether you're playing playing uh you know palms or whatever so if you play a match defense the problem we were having was we had users that didn't completely understand what match was and it was just confusing. Like we got play art on the field that looks like a cover three and users are calling this and they're trying to figure out why they got DBs running across the field. So high level players still like to use match here and there in spots. And we give you that control, but now for players that don't understand it, they're not penalized by accidentally calling a match play and just wondering what's going on on the field. Okay, Clef's, Clef's starting to move the ball. Oh, hello. Oh, let's go. That was, 
Kenneth Murray Jr. Good trying stuff. to get it. What what a lot of people didn't peep was how he was able to maneuver right there with that linebacker to get around the O line. On the match play and just wondering what's going on on the field. Kenneth Murray. Okay, Clef's starting to move the ball. Oh. Uh, got around. Hello. Oh, 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 Yes, it's, no, definitely. The real beauty of that system, like Nick, is that be, like, they aren't motion capture two-man tackles. Like, like man, they are actual one-man tackles oh, that another lead, player man. gets definitely, to interact with. And, and uh, this is something that Sense gave us the ability to do. Uh, that's a, that's that was the best one of the day. Yeah, I just, I just led that. But if you can show, like, where his reticle is in that ellipse, like, he... Had like it as Joey far Bolton left as he could possibly him. get it. Mm -hmm. And if he don't do that again, that's maybe a deflection, so maybe an INT, but it's certainly not a catch. Like he got good yeah, no, that was... And that was a perfect pass to keep your... It's, it's just kind of like in real life, right? You want to protect your receiver in a sense. So you want to make sure you kind of... Even though he's he's going that way, you kind of want to lead him up the field just a little bit to where he can drop and uh, avoid that, that hit from the safety. Because look, his safety is trying to destroy him. That was beautiful. Did I go to that guy that as soon as he sees that? Around. He throws it almost like a seat, like right to the middle of the field. I like that. I like that. Uh, a lot of power this year. That was, that was. I'm gonna die. That's why he's the best, man. That's why he's the best. And I see okay. this cover two invert right here, but it looked like cover three. Yeah, man, it's a new disguise play. It's a couple of those that's been added to playbooks. High-level players like you, Clef, you guys know how to disguise your coverages. You come out, you move guys around, you do a lot of pre-snap adjustments. That's fire. But noobs like me, we come out and we just run the play however <laughs> it looks. So they give us plays like this this year where that's you see the, the one the, high the safety, the it looks right like there, a cover one or a cover three, and, like and they... They drop right into a cover two. I, I like so the I'm play before, the Clef, you were the one like two ago. That was cover... That was cover. It looked like cover three. That was cover two. It was cover two. That's fire. I'm curious though. You talk about this. Right. These right. some of these new plays, the new disguise plays added. Uh, Spade. Does that mean defensive playbooks got bigger, or was there some stuff taken out in lieu of those uh, disguise plays? Yeah, we removed some stuff. I mean, we we definitely have the data to see what plays are being ran, how much of the playbook is being used, and we just felt like we had these. These swollen playbooks with a lot of plays in it. Some of them were the same, like slightly different variations of the same play. And we just did some cleanup. We just went through and removed stuff that people weren't using a lot. We added some new stuff. And uh, we feel like it's going to be a little less intimidating when you look in the playbook. You don't want to see a thousand plays, especially if you're new to the game of Madden. You're looking like, I don't know what to call. So we definitely uh, added some new, removed some old, and kept it kept it balanced. Yeah, that throw he just had was kind of crazy. I, I like that they're taking a little Thanks, bit of a wide angle and uh, making you kind of step up in the pocket. No, we did. I don't know if he's oh making this guy. Oh, God, God, I clipped him. Oh, 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 that would have been a crazy catch. Oh, my God. But it seems like it seems like for the most part they're 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 not just letting the oh, quarterback run out the pocket. Though? If he does want to run out, this is where it's tough. I don't know. To step up in the pocket for I'm going up against so Clyde. I feel like one point four million subscribers want to see you go for this. I think they do. They want to see. I think they do. They want to see a dot. Okay. Quick thinking. Quick thinking. Quick thinking. Oh yes. Oh. I like the read. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I had to chuck him a little bit with my user. Running that, was, uh, a bit. Yeah. that was fun. Oh, that, was, that was a good half. Yeah. Fade, while we have a, a, a brief moment here, what's a feature that maybe we haven't seen yet? Maybe you're, you're excited to hear people talk about something that's under the radar. Uh, my, my boy I think I'm going to go this. with this defensive terrible. evade moves. Like, this is the first time defensive in Madden we've given moves. users like, on, a tool to yeah, I gotta... evade. Come on, bro. No, Madden. No, 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 no. This is this is gonna be one of the things that immediately gets uh gets tuned uh they're gonna have to they're gonna have to tune tune the hell out of this bro like there's no way that you should just that wasn't even a real move bro 
And I feel like I feel like it should be more so more so with DBs and more space, right? Like there was some decent space there for him to evade him, but like I rather I rather him at least get his hands on him and he kind of like, you know, he moves, he swims off of it real quickly than him just not touch him at all like is how, how you know how rare it is for somebody to not even touch you, bro? Like a linebacker, oh Linebacker squared up in front of you. You're not just shaking the offensive lineman and they, and they just fucking uh, they just completely whiff to the point they don't touch you at all. At least make it. They gotta they gotta improve the animations to a sense where where at least you touch them, you can swim off quickly. Like you get a you get a quick block shed. But that that is crazy, bro. Like I could tell that's gonna be something uh, mad enough uh, fans are gonna complain about immediately. It depends on you know. So we'll see how cheesy it is. Maybe this is on this is on rookie. It's not on all pro. It's not even on all Madden. So maybe uh that's probably why it's working like that. Who knows though? But uh, blockers in the open field and just try to get around a blocker. And I think it's gonna be that slept on feature that users won't immediately start to interact with. They're gonna play against someone that's using it, and they're gonna be yeah, like, "Wait, what so, is he doing it?" And it's so gonna be that thing run. that catches on later. But just flicking right stick to the left or right if you are a defensive player allows you to sidestep and this. get around blockers. This is something that I expect later oh, toward the end bad. of the cycle. That's You're going to see a lot of that's users bad. really Nobody enjoy it. Badly, With bro. drift logic, the, the deep zone on the right, if nothing, it will play the crosser rather than just going super far back. You won't just run to a spot and sit in that spot and do nothing. He's you know, going to go okay. to his spot and he's going to drift with the receiver. Okay, Clef, try and play cut? like... Um, yeah, play like, like cover, cover three. Cover three. Okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sorry. I'm gonna look for Guyton here. Are you? Do you, you have hard flats out there? Yeah. Yeah. I got hard. Yeah. Flats. Okay. Okay. If this. Yeah. Okay. Let's 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 watch. Yeah. He definitely. Yeah. 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 He, he played that. He ran with it. So you can see that that outside so, so third guy take off with the first crosser, deep and then the deep middle, the he started to pick up that second receiver it. that was coming over, and that's that's new because yeah. last year those guys just dropped to a spot and stood there. Well, hold on, hold on. Spade. I gotta look at That's something. Let me see that crosser? again. Let's look at the far right, right? I want to see if the ball was really out of his hands because there's no way Trey White is getting burned like that. Let's and then the deep middle. He started to. Nah, he got to way pick too up much that second receiver. Oh my god! And this is before. Look, look at. I don't know. Maybe you could. Maybe he could have covered that. Uh, I don't know. He might. He might have covered ground. I, I give him the benefit of the doubt. He might have covered the ground. Cause it, it looked worse, I guess, cause I saw the after when he already got the ball ready out his hands. But that was coming over, and that's that's new, cause last year those guys just dropped to a spot and stood there. Spade, uh, we've heard a lot in the lead up to Madden 23 about hit everything and these these stand up tackles. Tell us a little bit about what we can expect from them and what it's going to add to the user yeah, experience. That was cool. Every time you see two players in a stand up tackle, it's like a one off situation. You never know how like it's going to result. It's also not one size fit all, so you're gonna see bigger, stronger players able to get out of that a lot faster than smaller players. It, I think it's really the type of play that can change the game. You can see a ball carrier get in the stand up tackle and fumble the ball. Their fumble chance is a bit higher when they're in stand up tackles. This is a, a mechanic and a feature I would keep an eye on. Their fumble chain. You can see a ball carrier get in the stand up tackle and fumble the ball. Their fumble chance is a bit higher when they're in stand up tackles. This is a, a mechanic and a feature I would keep an eye on going forward. I'm saying you got to be real methodical with your reads. You got to be really, really quick. There's not enough time to... Mm. It don't yeah, seem like you could just run around and block time. You, time you definitely like can't. Uh, obviously, if you've got some a, guys with a special skill set, you could be a read. tad bit more successful Especially than others. It looks like but, you know, forward, know, last year it felt like everybody was a scrambling yeah. passer. And then we That's heard the community loud and clear. People were pretty frustrated with scrambling quarterbacks. They were frustrated like with they escape artists, which is now an X-Factor ability and not a superstar ability. So, uh, yeah, changes have been made, man. That happened to be a tight window throw. Yeah, I like that. Another interesting thing. We're talking about X factors and, and escape artists being moved to that. One, uh, I, I mean, Clef, you know better than anybody. That's that's going to be huge for the, the MUD community, having that be an X factor instead of falling into one of those superstar ability uh, slots. It, it's going to change how teams are built going into the MCS season. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Because you're going to have to change your now, offensive now, alignment. Now, now you might use O line abilities. You know, you uh, might spend more on your O line. 
A skateboard is just gonna open up a lot of. It's definitely gonna open up a lot of AP space elsewhere to to spin because it took up a lot in Mad 22. Like you had to, if you wanted to skate, you had to spin a lot to get it. As far as you know, AP. So it's definitely gonna change the landscape of how teams are built and how guys, you know, use their AP. Well, because it's harder to get outside the pocket. Like it's all like gonna be. You're gonna really have to learn like. Football concepts, slant, like you're gonna have to throw a lot of quick stuff if you're gonna be oh, yeah, successful in this. Right now too, uh, Barrett. And like stuff like that too. Seems. Yeah, seems look really and, good. And, and, and that was lead. Yeah, seems definitely looking good. Like precision pipes. Uh, like this, this might be the year of the seams. I'm not gonna lie. The way it these seams are looking. Be. If you can learn to use that 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 skill based passing, you're gonna be able to attack the seams much more easily. Absolutely. And it's crazy because honestly. I think a lot of people are going to complain about oh, 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 people. Let me say this because I don't want to keep talking over them. A lot of people are going to complain about some of those scenes being caught, the passes that are being thrown. But honestly, in real life, bro, I say this all the time because a lot of times when I threw picks in Madden, they were passes that they're, they're definitely wide open in real life, right? They're definitely wide open in real life. But in Madden, for some reason... It's like, it's not, it's, first of all, they don't always put it in the exact spot you want them to put it in. And then second of all, they had the D, the, the linebackers and DBs freaking 10 yards away jumping and catching picks. So they 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 did kind of nerf it a little bit with the linebackers and whatnot, for sure, last season. But uh, with the skill-based passing and deciding exactly where you want to put the ball, those seams for those cover three plays, uh, maybe cover four as well, it's going to be, those was going to be there, man. Yeah, I see you, kid. I like that. Okay, now we got the... I haven't really done many Anderson. Let's try the Anderson. See if I can run on... Man looks a little... It looks good. It looks, man it looks, looks really good. I, Clef, yeah, I, I think it's safe to say defense more, in general looks good, man. Like, defense, defense looks good. Is up. Yeah, actual, defense looks amazing. Actual man All right, right let's be honest, Clef. Right. If this was... If, oh, no. I don't like that. I don't like that. Let me see that again. Did he amazing. click on to the last? All right, let's be honest, Clef. If this was, oh, he clicked it, on too oh? late. Okay, because I'm about to say, there's no reason that a user should get hit with that move. But since it's since it's the AI, I'm not mad at that, man. You gotta click on. We gotta reward guys for uh actually making moves and uh you know you gotta actually uh you know we can't we can't award guys for not clicking on and trying to let the computer do work, let the computer do all the work. So I like that. Not mad at that, but uh I like the sharp cuts in this game. No. Not Eckler. Not Eckler just, I mean, was lighting up and everything. That That's 92 yards. That That is a 92-yard touchdown, and Ooh. TD Bear just put you on his YouTube channel. Oh, hey, man. I used my, I used the LT thing at the end there. I hit him with the, the speed cut. God, I'm not I love it. about Austin Eckler, man. Thank you. He bro. got the new mechanics, downloading them to his database, and he is yeah. out here, man. One thing I'm noticing just watching this, and as somebody who called a lot of Madden last year, and, and I don't know if this was intentional. Uh oh, stripped. Ooh, peanut uh -oh. That's a new strip animation. There it is, peanut punch. Oh my goodness. That's new. I like that. I like that a lot. Herbert's got that highball ability. He does. He really does. That wasn't a history. Throw those he just elite high passes. Punch, back. That's, oh. That's nice. Oh my back, mm, wow. back shoulder throw. I like that. That's another. I like that. That's another situation. Okay. Right you threw that right at the pylon. That was just a pylon throw. Kind of tried to back, like the sort of back. Uh, precision pass. That kind of worked perfectly. Yeah. Beautiful. It almost, it almost turned it into like a baby comeback. Fire. Like it just sort of fire. stopped the route. That was like a long handle. Yeah. That was, crazy. That was a crazy throw. Like because the DB was like running with them and it was thrown by. I, I like that. And Clef, you hear yeah, TD talking about throwing it up to his big target. It's definitely going to be times this year that the right thing to do is going to be to play the SWAT instead of going for the pick. I'm guilty in the past of always oh, going oh, for the pick. Get over. Special teams matter? Get out, McKenzie? Special teams. Does he have Special enough gas, though? Yeah, he's out of there. Special teams. He got enough. I have a, I have oh yeah, Trey White game. over there. No, don't throw it. Don't throw over there. Don't I'm not worried about Trey White. Don't throw the bike. I'm not worried about it. Trey White is over it. there. Yeah, he's not even getting. Oh yeah. Oh, getting a beautiful free form. Three. Yeah. Worried about it. 
Trey White is up there. Yeah, he's yeah, he not even getting. Oh, yeah. Oh, goodness. Beautiful free form pass right there. Out here making Jalen Guyton look like Keenan Allen. Good quarterbacks. They, they make mm. average receivers look like good receivers. Keenan Allen, that's Keenan Allen, though. That guy's not that. That is Keenan Allen. Allen. Oh, Keenan's really good. Okay, let's see. Every AFC West team is watching this being like, I don't, I don't want to play this team. I don't care about Trey White. No, I do. He, I lied. I lied with you. Yeah, I'm Trey. Trey. <laughs> I, do, I, do, I, I do care about Trey. He, he definitely blocked him. In my, in my head, I was going to throw it, but then I was like, nah, I think I'm going to stay. Please throw it. I'm going to try to pick it and return it. Yeah, yeah that's what no, I want to see, though, that, too. I want to see, I wanna you see how the jump balls are going to be played. No, I care, I, I care about Trey White. I do. I do. And that's it. I, I got a little overconfident with Mike Williams. Before we get out of here, guys, I got to get your final thoughts. Uh, TD, what did you feel was the biggest difference or biggest change you noticed uh, from Madden 22 to Madden 23? Free form without, passing, I mean, the corner first of all, like just being you know, like zone coverages, um, lack of, you're going to have to get better and not like, if you watch this entire thing with me, there might have been once where we actually got clean out of the pocket and it was because Clef like actually made like a really nice play and got out, but there was a lot of pocket passing in this game, a lot of just like, mm. get the ball, you're looking to throw it to your running back or like on a seam, the running game, I like the running game, I like the kind of new, um, the new jump cut. And yeah, pass or yeah, everything. Like I, I, I really, really liked it. That was good. Yeah, Clef, this, this is, this feels like, uh, from what TD's saying, this is a totally mm. different game from Madden 22 to Madden 23. Yeah, it's, it's not even the same. There's nothing you could take from 22 and like bring it into 23 and be like, hey, this gonna work. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's way different from the movement. Mm. You know, the, it's Can't way, play. way more user control. Pretty Too much high. everything is almost user oriented if you wanted to be the the ball is really in your court like you have so much yeah, control a, I, it when it comes this to the is passing user -oriented, um, the bro. running how you can just stop on a dime no more spinning trying to spin to get upfield you can just hit that l2 or lt button and, and get upfield yourself so i i really enjoyed it and Be gone. I'm looking forward to this year yeah okay. I, I don't know about you guys but after watching this i'm ready to get my hands on this game and get into the lab a reminder worldwide release of madden 23 is August 19th. Get your calendar circled and get ready to get out there on the virtual gridiron. That's cool. I do. I, I'm not. I'm not mad at the gameplay. Uh, the only real thing that I just did not enjoy at all was uh, was that uh, the what would they call it? The evasive. The 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 I forgot what it's called. The thing so you can avoid lime evade linemen. They, I hope that needs to be patched immediately, man. I hope that was on rookie and that doesn't really happen in the game. Uh, cause that's that. I think that has a lot to do with awareness. That's probably have a lot to do with awareness, actual po pass blocking and stuff like that. But uh, man, you shouldn't just be whiffing like that, honestly. So uh, that was about it for the video, man. There was some good things I saw, some good, bad, and ugly. Um, but overall, this is this this is definitely a different game than Madden Twenty Two, man. Uh. I already know when I first when I first clicked this video and I probably watched like the first three minute first three minutes I've seen a few of the comments and people just saying oh this is Madden 21 with an upgrade Madden 22 with an upgrade I'm not really buying that um but I, I I can't wait man I can't wait for this game to drop uh this is hopefully this is the best Madden by far that we had in a long time it seems like they really put a, at least some real effort into this year um and uh the gameplay looks better. I know there's a f there's gonna be a few things they're gonna have to tweak. Just I could just tell there's a few things they're gonna need to tweak, or they're gonna have to uh they're gonna have to uh tone some of the things down. Like uh I think one thing they might tone down is possibly um uh the break tackle where you gotta spam A. That might be something. Depends on how often is it gets triggered. I don't know how often that will actually get triggered in the game where you get to just you know spam A and break the tackle. Um of course the evade the evade and offensive lineman. There was one more thing. Um, there was one more thing, but I can't quite remember it. But it doesn't even matter, man. But with that being said, we're about to head up out of here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video, man. Leave your comments in the comment section below on what you thought about this official first look gameplay for Madden 23, man. Uh, yeah, I'm out of here, though. Peace.